yeah, it was forwarded to me actually by um, by a friend. So you're obviously very humbling because there are some phenomenal players, um, I think, around the world at this point in time. Uh, yeah, so very, yeah, very humbling. What I like about Centre is that uh, you get the best of both worlds. So uh, um, you get to be a part of the defensive end, so you need to have a little bit of um, defensive nous, but also you get to um, be involved in the attack in the end as well. So having great vision, change of direction, the ability to get free. So you certainly get the best of both worlds, and that's what I quite like about Centre. It's a very fine line, I think. Getting a pass past one of the best defenders in the world, there's nothing quite like it. But getting an intercept at a crucial time or contributing to an opposition error um, is also very rewarding. So uh, at this point in time, I'll go with uh, a, a crisp feed pass uh, top D. Um, I'd have to say to date it was Natalie Von Berto. I think um, she was just such a steady head. She was always a human backpack on defence and she really controlled the tempo on, of the Australian Diamonds. Um, now that she's vacated, I think um, a real threat is Serena. Um, I think she um, is very elusive on defence. She may feel as though she's not marking you, but she can travel a very long way to get intercepts. Um, so she's probably one I've got my little eye on. <laughs> The support we get in New Zealand is phenomenal um, for our sport um, and what is fantastic is um, we're possibly the top women's sport in our country so we receive um, a lot of support um, from other codes um, and like organisations so we're very very fortunate. With the Super League starting to develop and the number of players from Jamaica and England that are making headway into the ANZ champs, um, you know, it's all information um, sharing and sourcing and bringing back. So it's inevitable that both um, countries will be getting stronger and creating depth. So, yeah, you definitely do keep an eye on, um, you know, every, anyone in the top six just about. Um, and I think certainly, um, particularly in this test series, um, this is the time of year where England is um, very strong, very clinical, very accurate and often make a statement. So, um, yes, one eye open at all times.